All right, DJ, so you get the start last week, and in 71 snaps played, you only allowed two catches. Um, what Are you feeling that comfortable in Lou Anaruma's defense to be able to execute the way you are? Because you're executing at such a high level right now. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm comfortable. Um, I mean, like I said, it starts from training camp or really OTAs when I got here. Um, just learning the playbook. So at this point now, it's just I'm not confused on the playbook or anything. I'm just playing. How does it feel going into your rookie season? I mean, brand new to the NFL at first. How does it feel to be playing the way you are? Uh, great, um, but I'm not surprised by it. Um, so, I mean, that's what I was coming trying to do. So, um, but it's good. It's good so far. Obviously, you knew that you were going to be good because you put in so much work. But when you see the work pay off, what is that like as an athlete? I mean, it's great. Um, I mean, that's, what, that's why you put in work so it, you know, pays off. So um, it's definitely good. Um, but, you know, I still feel like I got a lot of room to improve. What type of player would you say Stefan Diggs is? Um, he's obviously been in the league a long time. But what do you take away when you watch film of him? Um, he's definitely one of the top receivers in the league. And so, you know, you just got to be prepared going against him. Um, and that's really, you know, the main thing is just preparation. Um, and so when you go to the game, you know, you're not caught off guard by anything. How do you feel about playing on Sunday night against the Bills? Uh, I can't wait. Uh, these, these are the best time. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I can't wait. Uh, I'm excited for this game. What makes you so excited? Because obviously the stadium's going to be rocking. It's your first home game back in a while, and it's against the Bills and Sunday night. I feel like everything is coming together for this game to be fun. Yeah, I mean, this is the games you want to play in. I mean, this, this is what you're here for. I mean, it's games like this. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. Especially, I, I know how the stadium gets, so I'm, I can't wait. I can't wait. In your time here so far, who have you learned the most from? Um, I'll probably say Cheeto. Okay. Uh, yeah, definitely. I, I said Cheeto will definitely be number one. He has been at the top of his game for a long time. He brings a wealth of knowledge. What specifically can you key in on that he's been able to teach you this year? I mean, it's in every category. I mean, from recovery to playbook to, I mean, in game to off the field. I mean, everything, really everything. So I, I, that'll be number one for sure. What went through your mind last week when you watched? Um, Jermaine get that interception and then Logan follow it up. Uh, oh, you saw when they got the picks? Yeah. Oh yeah, nah. Yeah, I was like, man, I, I'm trying to get one. That's, <laughs> I, was, I was happy. I was happy, and uh, yeah, no, it was definitely good. And then my boy Mike got one, but they called it back. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that hurt me. That hurt me. Um, but yeah, no, nah, it, it was all good though. Do you guys have any kind? Of, I remember the defense used to hold like player run meetings. Do you guys still do that? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, the GBs, uh, we, we do every week. How do you benefit from player run meetings like that? Uh, good, I mean, because, you know, it's, it's players, so, you know, it's kind of feel more comfortable. Just it's player driven, you know, so it's not, you know, it's not like a coach is there or something. We're, we're doing it on our time. Uh, it's not forced. And so, you know, you're just there really strictly getting better. Thank you.